In this video, we're going to do data binding. Now, data binding means to uh, map some of our elements, in this case, particularly our tables and the J combo box to uh, database tables. Now, in the previous videos, we used uh, NetBeans automatic uh, binding capabilities. So all we had to do was right click and click on bind and elements, and then we would uh, use the, the, the the wizard in NetBeans to uh, bind the database uh, information from the database table to our table. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do bind your tables manually. Okay, before we do anything, let's try running our application. Now, if you'll recall, we didn't uh, create a main class, so um, NetBeans is going to ask us now which class we want to set as a main class. We'll select school library main as the main class. That is the suggestion. We we'll click on OK and well and good. It takes a bit of time before the app will run. Okay, there we have it. So now we have our our app, but you, as you can see, the look and feel is is different from the preview. The reason is because the preview is, is using a different theme and our runtime is using a different theme. Actually, this theme on my Mac doesn't look very good. The first thing we're gonna do is to go and change this so that it shows the default theme. So we stop the run, go to the packages. In case you're ever stuck with this, this takes place right there. Now if you go to the main method of this class, and we expand that. All right, so the look and feel info, everything be between uh, this try catch block is what's causing the the look and feel so you can see that the look and feel that's uh, that's been set here is the numbers look and feel all right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete this uh, these lines of code select from there to there and delete it save that and when i rerun takes a bit of time And there we have it. It's the standard default Mac look and feel. All right, so far so good. But as you can see, the table doesn't say much. It just says uh, a title one, title two, three, and four. And in the books also, uh, in the books tab, it's the same. So this table is not very descriptive. And as far as the J combo box goes, it's just showing the default items one, two, three, and four. Now, how do we bind a table to our uh, our database table? Now that's much simpler than, than you would think. 